Hey everybody, we're back with those deviled eggs. Some of y'all said yes, please show me the deviled eggs. So here we go. These are gonna be quick and easy, no problem at all. Mmm, easy like coffee. So all I did was happened my eggs. And I use a steak knife or a serrated knife just to give them a little scalloped edge. So there they are on the plate. And you know I like to put the yolks in the bag because it's easier. Now I'm going to show you this little hack again. This is what I do. Now, you know how you kind of run out of this sometimes? You don't have to run out of it. You can just add some extra boiled eggs. And yes, use boiled eggs, the whole thing, whites and all. And I'm going to put two whole eggs in here with these yolks. We're just scuffling around here. We've got uh, rolls going in the oven. We've got mashed potatoes going. It's a wonderful thing. So I'm going to put two whole eggs in there. And I'm going to show you the magic of how these will just disappear. <clears throat> so what you do, once you get them in there, you want to just mash them all up. This is the easiest way to do it, and then I'm going to throw this bag away at the end, and I'm going to wash it by no means, or a bowl, or a fork, or anything else I may have used. And I'm just going to mash all this up. And if you're thinking, you put those whites in there, and it's going to show, and it's not going to look pretty, and trust me, Trust me, it just adds more fill. Just adds a little bit more to your mixture, so you'll have more to uh, put in there, and you won't find them in here. Even if I said, if I gave you this bag and I said, "Here, show me those whites," they're not there. They just all disappear. They all turn yellow. And this way, they're all good and mashed, and they're good and smooth. And you don't have any chunks. You just want to keep mashing until you get all the chunks. You get everything smoothed down. You might want to take some of the air out just so you can make sure you've got them all mashed. Um, you can put them on your cutting board and mash them down. Just like that. Just see, they're all yellow. All great. Now, all I'm going to do now is just put in my ingredients in this bag. Let me tilt you down. Merry Christmas, everybody. Mama, everybody says Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Mama says Merry Christmas, folks. How are y'all doing? Now, this is just sweet pickle relish. Just any brand you want. This just happens to be our store brand, Kurtz. And it's from the Save a Lot, of course. And I'm just going to eyeball it. And I'm going to put in a good uh, teaspoon. Maybe a tablespoon. And that's it. And then this is just some mustard, yellow mustard. Don't like a lot of yellow mustard, but I do like a good squirt of it. And probably about a quarter size squirt. And then I'm going to put some salt and pepper, just sprinkle, sprinkle, just to flavor. Dash, dash of these, each. A little bit of black pepper and some good old dukes. And I'm just going to put a good spoonful in here, probably a good tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons, not hardly two tablespoons. Take that out of your hand, you're going to do it better. Like that right there, and let's see what we have. We may have to add a little bit more. We will see though. See, I got a little bit on top of that. Once again, got all your ingredients in there, and that's all I put is pickle relish, mustard, and mayonnaise of your flavoring and your choice. I'm just going to mix this up in the bag, just like this. I'm going to take a little bit of that air out so I can get to the product a little better. See that? Mix it, mix it. This way there's no dishes. There's no. There's not even a fork. And you don't have a spoon or you don't have anything to deal with. That a white goes away, I promise you. And it just adds a little more filling. I don't have to worry about, ooh, I better skimp on this one. Now all that's mixed in there together. You can see pickle relish all the way through it. You can, I can feel that it's all mixed. And what I'm going to do is just press it down just like you would a cake bag. Now you could take this out of this bag and put it in a cake pastry bag and do all that good stuff. But I'm not going to. Now I'm going to take this bag and I'm going to open it up. 
It's Christmas, so we have to do a little something special. You see that little cake tip? I'm going to drop him right in there. And I'm going to seal my bag back up. And then I'm just going to find him once I get him in there. And I'm going to take him down here to this corner. Going to clean that corner out. So it won't make it a mess. And then I'm going to take my scissors. Let's see if I can find some scissors. I had scissors laying here and Mama has already picked them up. Let me see if I can use a knife. Mama, did you don't move my scissors. I'm just going to cut this off with this knife. Well, I need a sharp knife. Hey, Bernice, hand me some scissors, please. There you go. Going to cut that tip off from there, and I'm going to push this right through here, just like that. Now look how neat. Clean that egg off from there. And there you have it. That's all you have to do. Now the pickles may be harder to get through there. I may not have the exact size one. Then all I'm going to do now, tilt you right around here, and I'm going to squeeze out the air, and I'm going to start filling them. Just like this, just round it around. Well, that came all the way through. That's not what you want to do. Let me just go away with the tip. You can do the tip. I'll put it that way. But if your tip comes through like mine just did, of course, you can also just use the hole you made and put it through. I should have used a bigger tip. What happened was some uh, pickle relish got caught in there and uh, it popped it out. But I'm just going to use the bag anyway and fill around and around just like this. And then I'm going to cover them with paprika at the end. This is still the easiest way I've ever made deviled eggs. You don't have any mess, anything to clean up, anything extra to do, and it simply goes right in there, nice and neat and clean. And then you fill it, you cover it with the paprika, and then you throw this bag away, and you're done for the day. And these will be ready for the table. Just like this. I was going to star them in there. But y'all sing. But as Mama says, suck it up, Buttercup. That's life. Just deal with it. As you can see, they're still going to be fine. But I did need a bigger tip. So if you have the big star tip, use it. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to be ready to eat here in about 10 minutes. Potatoes are coming out. That's the last thing in the rows. We like to do the potatoes last so they're good, popping hot. We fill them, or we mash them, and then you're ready to eat. Rows be done, butter them, put them on the table. Those are simple. Now here, you see how I put plenty of filling in each one of these. And I've got plenty left because I had those extra eggs in there. And then, you can or cannot put olives, it doesn't matter. Sometimes people like olives on them, and sometimes they don't. So now all I'm going to do, put a little dab more. There's my tip that failed me. Put a little dab more, and then I'm going to cover them with paprika. Just because that's the southern thing, and that's what we do. And those are going to be ready for the Christmas table. And... They'll be awesome, and they'll love them. So that is a quick and easy way. Now this can be thrown in the trash. No washing, no mess, no fuss. Ready in an instant. And maybe you can get a bigger tip and yours won't blow out when you get a piece of pickle relish caught in it. Merry Christmas, y'all. That was just a quick and easy tutorial on some stuffed eggs, deviled eggs, Christmas eggs. Merry Christmas, y'all. Have a great one. We're getting ready to eat. The whole family's here. They're all in the living room talking. Actually, they're trying to be quiet so y'all can't hear them. You hear them laughing? They're like, I, oh, he's on film. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> this place was full a while ago. So if they get in here in a minute and they get ready to eat, I'm going to say, oop, I'm filming. Then I'll get my plate and go eat.
Merry Christmas. Y'all have a great one. Bye-bye.